Hello everyone. So today we'll discuss about drafting in Catia. So first of all, before drafting, make sure the diagram is available on the background, and uh, then we have to go for the start option, then mechanical design, next drafting. So after taking drafting by new page, here also you can take a plain sheet or else the same diagram with all the three sides okay the same diagram all the three sides this is very important one okay this is a very easy one okay if you want to take a plain sheet then empty sheet will be available and if you want front view right view and top view in a single sheet then also you can take here okay so if you need uh, like a1 sheet a2 sheet a3 or a4 sheet so simply you have to select here modify option then select here I will take A2 because this diagram is larger so some little bit large then I will take A2 ISO ok this is paper selection now I can take this three views and I can take these three views also front to bottom or right or front top and left okay. if we want to take separate views as per our own requirement then we need to select this empty sheet option and select here ok so an empty sheet nothing will come here so there should be some tools ok so I will show you some tools that the tools only required the remaining tools are not required so first of all you need to go for this drawing option then dimensions then views visualization so these are dimensions already it came so no need to require again Address of features also required. This one also. Okay, the image also left, so no problem. This also be required. Okay, annotations. Address of features. And now you can see there is no tool available, but also we need some tools here. These are automatic generate dimensions. This one also be required. Okay next another tool is dimension is not available so make sure the dimension is this is one of the main thing okay so I'll post here on the right so see whatever the tools available on the sheet the tools are required for okay, GDNT dimensioning and drafting everything okay so first of all we will arrange by some of places okay so first of all for dimensioning I'll take this dimension on the top of the area okay then con connected to dimensions only we need to place side by side this also required dimensions mm, this is also for dimension too so I'll keep all this on top area next these drawing tools are less required so I'll place on the left so sometimes won't take yeah. Yeah. so views are also required so views I will take on the right here because you can keep it here also this is for product part okay part import and everything will be available here and visualization will be very less useful so that I will keep it on the bottom and dress up feature also very less useful to keep it at the bottom okay so here first of all how we will take the parts so here I will use window option because in the background I have already opened the part drafting part that's why it's showing in a window option there is a DRF part so I'll select this one I can come here easily again window again draw, drawing you can come here easily now how we will import the part so in the starting of the diagram I have shown that if you need front view right view and top view you can select the option while in page selection process or else if you take empty view you have to select here just select insert okay so insert what are the tools available views projection also available these are all the tools are available on our outer area like this these are all tools only okay so here I will take so you can see there is a front view option in views tool in view toolbar these are the tool options okay so 
so these are the part tool option it means how the product look like like front view we need right view isometric view section view all the tools are available here okay so here i will take front view okay so make sure that you can select here front view then you have to go for windows okay so listen carefully in views i have selected front view option then i am going to the windows so front view it means the background part front view we have to select so how we will go from the background part by using windows option the background part and background part we need to select a front view which one is your front view if you take this one as a front view it will look like this see here here is the product available i will take this as a front view okay that will be okay see the front view same to same will be printed here so before printing make sure that it should be in a proper direction a proper way so make sure this should be distance from top area and diagram distance from left area to this boundary area okay there should be distance from left to top and right okay so after completing you can select directly outer area that will be fixed okay next so after seeing this we need to see the right view and we need to see the isometric view also okay so we need to see the isometric view also so here what we will see is there is a front view only and if you need the right view exactly so right view will be we have a option called as in view and here we have a projection view option okay projection view option so in by selecting this front view you can use projection view by sides view it means projection view is okay uh, we can also call it as side view or alternate views whatever the view is available the view should be it will be alternate it means the right view if it is in front right front top front left front bottom like this so we we'll select here projection view then see automatically the projection will be available here okay this is the projection view now you can see there is a dimension deflection see here we have a larger well uh, more gap here and we have a less gap here we can see also the dimension gap so now what we will do is i will open the part again and i will modify so how we will open the part already it's available on the background got it so i'm selecting this part by selecting this part pocket okay the sketch i will edit see here okay so this written as r8 but there is no value written here that's why i will take here again r8 see this is 9.21 that's why the value is different 8 enter okay then uh, this and this should be in parallel Okay, symmetry this line yeah it came symmetry but it came on top direction okay control z this is r8 this is r8 right and uh, we can see there is this is not okay seven height horizontal vertical 7.5 okay then we should uh, check the dimension between this line and this line this will get the angle see here done i kept the angle as 0 degrees okay but uh, we have to check whether the height will be okay or not or exit time okay now done completed control s so now the same diagram will be updated on the drawing sheet where in windows in drawing here so it is not updated here because this is a gatia software this is very old software so we need to use update tool here available see now it's clear and clean okay now it's done so right view front view done right view done and we need top view and isometric view so this is a top view right so this is a front view we need top view okay by simply selecting the view option in the first row corner here we have projection view simply give it like this so as you can see the area is not 
okay available like uh, there is not sufficient area okay so we took a2 sheet that was that is very big sheet and that is also not applicable not available let's see what we can do is this is a new sheet option detail sheet option okay so we can keep the new sheet on the second page but uh, that is not that should not be happen because in a single sheet we have to adjust everything okay so i'll just right click so make sure this is option called as display view frame okay the bottom okay so in display view frame if you select this we can see there is a boundaries available on the parts so by selecting the boundary and i'm selecting right click then we'll get a option called as properties okay properties means the diagram properties will, will be available here so here also we can keep scaling like i am i am going to decrease the scale okay see here one is to one i'll make it one is to two one is to two means half of the diagram value apply see okay one is to two will be okay so our one is to 0 0.5 i have reduced okay original value apply okay right click properties scale one is to two apply okay so one is to two is very good if you see here so i'll explain you one by one process again i'll go into or else you can type here directly 0 0.5 so it's not available only here one is to two is available apply okay okay now just again select the view frame so that it should be removed now this is not movable because this should be movable when we will open this display option okay then only it will be movable so now we can see we should use some values we have we can use of half section view also so let's check where is the half section view option here it is available so in the view all in view option this second option called as second option here so here we have a offset section view if i select here and if i click the diagram into half okay enter so that was it okay we we'll just make it half to draw a half no, no not to that okay so i'll just this section view right we need to check once if it is section view or not yeah section so it's offset section view so offset i will take from here to here okay and uh, if you see here Okay, so it's not available here so I'll explain you again so let's uh, see the dimension because the half, half set view is not required here in the present so here if you take a half section view so if I click here so I need to select the half of the part okay so half of the part if I select here see so I'm drawing half of the part then double click it means it's done then place here so if you take the half of the section here this section is not available they are not possible okay will not uh, should not take this because uh, if we see half of the same to same diagram with half section view here also so this is not required okay so simply i need to on the display specification then right click and you can just delete and just continue with the part so after moving just close the option then we can see the section view okay so these uh, front view these are not required now so we will see later so you can see we can uh, see the height we can see the depth uh, area area everything okay so now after three views we need isometric view it means 3d view okay so in view option the first column is for view options only so here we have a isometric view option just click this and go to windows the same option drafting and it should be the same isometric view how we can see this is an isometric view or not 
so here the views are not available make sure the view should be available here Not this one. View is available here. This is the asymmetric view. Okay. So now, if you select any one of view here, the same view will be available there. Got it? So I'll use same this as a. Okay. Right click. Just close this. Select the selection option right click then properties so I'll, I'll make it 1 is to 8 means uh, 1 is to 2 that will be okay apply okay see so we can increase or decrease the area of working a this one okay so that just keep it here keep the views on the bottom so that it should not disturb okay and uh, so these three views are completed now we'll go for okay dimensioning so how we will convert the dimensions okay so first of all we have a dimension option here you can see there is a dimension option but these are not required fully only the length angle radius diameter these are required okay main thing and also chamfer value so here in the diagram there is no chamfer only up to a drafting detailing phase we have a chamfer option here okay so we'll see later so first of all how we will take the dimension see here so we are working on this part so in the, this part we have a length option the same thing you are, can take from the drafting part and designing part also the same process just click this and drag here okay just click this and just double click make sure for multiple selection so see this 36.94 is not available in the part so just take away from the part and a thickness okay make sure that will be in same direction because that will be it's look good and uh, what are the things are left uh, the total area the 92 see this is a 92 diameter okay so diameter symbol should be there okay so we need to use gdnt symbol before this 992 so how we will use this is a diameter okay let's uncheck this and delete this again i'll taking the diameter option see here got 92 that's it okay if you select this the two lines you can drag toward downward direction okay so here 92 is done and uh, so height is done and again we need to use this tool just double click one two okay next again here one so dimension done let's select the area and select the total area like this okay. and from here to so this 60 is already given this height is given this area is given length is given okay so as per this diagram the value has been done so any diagram the value missing just uh, check it once the inside part okay the inside part dimension is not available this part okay so we need to be careful while taking the dimension because if any one dimension also missing there will be very problematic because for draft manufacturing they will find they will face a lot of problems if your dimension is not accurate or not good okay so 98.9 and uh, we need to find the height of the internal part so if we 36 plus 69.8 right 98 so that will be the full value this is the 36 value and this value is not available so we need to add this value also by selecting this line and this line 36.94 this is 36.73 okay so this first diagram dimension I'll see dimension should be very easy and clear to understand okay don't make a lot of dimension in one place so as per this diagram the dimension has been completed 
and if you go for the second diagram the first diagram dimension should not repeat towards the second dimensions okay it means see length we have given width we have given so what what the dimension is possible here you have to give and then what are dimension possible here you have to give okay so here we have to give the only the upper area dimensions remaining all we have given okay so first of all we will take is so we will select the hatching part and uh, here i will hatching area i will going to which value is 5 we will take as 2 see which value will be increase okay 1 make it 1 that is also increase uh, more number of pitch values available here so that we can see the easily so pitch value is 0 0.5 now this is looking good okay now we can see the corners easily then if you see there is a hatching part we can see the dimension easily so in this here we have to give the dimension of the slot hole okay so slot hole will be the we have to give the length First of all, this is a radius option. Here, this is a radius option R8, and uh, we have a length option from start to end. Okay, so we will give you the length option is 150, and also we need to provide the height from the area like this. To double click, center from the height area like this. This is the slot height from the center point to the bottom. Okay, 20.1. So here uh, all the dimension will be completed here. Okay. Now we need to give dimension from the top area. Okay. So here the dimension is not possible because a lot of dimension will come here. The diameter, the length, uh, again diameter, the hatching part, everything. So we have a tool called as detailed view. Okay, detailed view. In the detailed view, we can take dimension easily. So in the third row, this is the view option, right? View option, this is the first okay, first set of dimensions second set of tools okay and third set of tools here okay so first third set of tool in the first option we have a detail view so click this detail view select the area so i will take from the top escape again detail view as is the area from top and like this i am selecting here so make sure that should be exact center I am taking this area so this is also not possible so I will take it again so we need to see the center point yeah this is available this is not set with the active view ok we should use the active view escape so lock this again So we'll take it one second because maybe half section will be the problem. Okay, just a bit. Till view profile. So this also maybe area. So just check the view will be activate or not so view tolerance pattern dimensions extensions so in the, the upper part issue we should activate it here so by selecting okay, center area just zoom the area and by right click and we have a activate option on the bottom okay right click in the place of properties in the bottom we have a activate view so after selecting activate view then you can take this detail option okay detail view so make sure that detail view should be in the center of the area okay and the part should be covered totally and see here we have a scale option zoom out and we will click the scale option here okay now you can see it easily so the isometric view I will move towards on the bottom corner exactly so this is not required right now so I will keep it raft 
and uh, we have to manage the dimensions and diagrams okay so these we required on the top keep on top and uh, these we need to manage one by one step by step process so that there should be no congested area okay now it's okay now we uh, there is a detailed view on the corner then i will lock the view section or view display option now we can easily check the dimensions first of all outer diameter already we have given here as 92 okay so don't give the 92 again here so here we have to give the remaining values okay remaining values that is inside parts so inside part first we'll give you the diameter of the first option from here to they already you see the diameter is given just click this second one this also diameter given so make sure the dimension should be available larger will be the last smaller will be the second so again select the diameter option that's it done so diameters are given so make sure the, the, this dimension make it in the bottom direction because uh, you can see there is no space available on top so that what we do is we have to keep the upper line double click this line and this line the dimension is not available so it's keeping the bottom direction then this line and this line will keep as the top okay and see here we have an angle option okay so angle of it means what the angle from here to here current created dimension so it's not currently impossible to create this type of dimension so in angle we have to take the other dimension here so no problem like this okay and select this okay so no problem and uh, here we can give the remaining option from upper area okay so now if you see uh, all dimensions completed right except the angle and height one yeah this one is the remaining escape or control use control z okay so dimensions then select the upper line and the bottom line here then we give the dimension of 3.44 okay so this is all the values we have given then we can see the upper part area and all the dimension has been completed now one dimension left is there is a whole diameter on the left so uh, we need to select the diameter just select the line that's it the diameter is available so 10 is not available inside so don't keep any dimension inside of the part okay always should keep dimension on the outside that's it the depth will not be required because the depth will be minus from here okay okay so as we see our dimension has been completed and uh, whatever dimension is repeated should not be repeat the dimensions okay so make sure the dimension should not repeat and uh, the dimension value also we have to give it exactly like 55 diameter 5.35 okay so now we can see there is a arrow mark problem in the dimension diameter is okay the thickness is okay but the arrow base is not good so whatever i'll do is i'll just select all the diagram i'll right click go to properties then here we can see there is a arrow mark option called as like in dimension line okay so in shape these are arrow marks see here there is no arrow mark available on the symbol 2 because this arrow mark only shows the left arrow mark but right is not available because we have selected diameter and radius option also okay so we'll do one thing is we need to check whether the diameter is not available on the single arrow mark option see we have selected the r8 that's why there's a problem of single arrow mark so what we'll do is we'll do it separately so here we don't have any radius right click go to properties 
and then select see we got the two error mark always should be filled okay close filled or filled option okay thickness not uh, required apply okay see here okay perfectly then we need to select separately one two and three right click properties two arrow mark should be two arrow filled apply okay and r8 should be given separately so just select wherever the r8 is available mm. so only one place the r8 is available so here this is not completed still okay so let's uh, complete this so first of all we need to check the dimension the length of the see this is the length uh, we have given but width not given so here we have to give is width so double click the upper and the bottom one zero each okay one second thing is we need to give the radius so escape just radius option radius value then diameter option diameter value here also diameter value so don't give all the dimension in one corner so just make sure you will keep on another corner also next uh, from height this should be length value from height to this circle value got it like this okay from height to right circle value control z double click the circle and right value this is one of the important and this, like the same thing we have to apply on the f both corners so if we s given the value on the half then okay we can give the value of half year okay so no problem we have to remove this escape just delete this because we have to give a lot of dimensions here a lot okay so now so whatever the diagram is not possible with these two options we have to give it here okay first of all there should be value between these two circles one and two okay and between these two circles should be also there and between these two circles also should give the value okay and also we need to use the right from this whole distance again top from this whole distance this is also important thing okay and this one also got it why i'm giving these all okay okay escape now i need to adjust the value like this one two this is here it's okay 25 here 15 we need to keep it out 15 i'll keep it out and 49 got it so now inside there is a two value value and see there is a concession value here so you did this 12 and uh, see here this is 150 value so 150 i can give only here also the half value i'll delete Okay, because half we can take from left because only left value is uh, empty see here empty area that's done and what which value is available here so we have given the top given the area whole diameter whole diameter is left so escape diameter whole diameter that's because we have to write 4 into 12 right that's fine so as for these dimension values is completed so there is no dimension required or uh, left behind okay okay now what i'll do is i'll use r5 right click and properties so in properties we have see we have properties a lot of options first is value the value is done already okay then uh, tolerances then dimension line so in dimension line in symbol i will give as arrow field and representation i will give as two parts apply okay then we can see 
or 15 like this the same options click one two right click properties representation two parts apply okay got it now here we did as 12 and r5 into 2 4 also we have to write just double click or right click properties so here we have to go for dimension text so dimension text are already available so on the right side see this is the main value okay this r15 is this one main value here base side of right 15 x four hands uh, no four uh, radius right into four is done no problem r15 into four that's done then here right click properties okay after so diamond 12 into 4 here you have to write 4 holes because that is the whole comes under whole option apply close okay next uh, what are the tools remaining arrow marks of all the area okay that also we can change it later so we can see uh, there is a lot of tool has been completed here so I just adjust one by one step by step process so that we can see it easily okay done so bottom also we have a lot of space okay like this we have to arrange so if you can write here text so that will be uh, adding for the next class okay so up to here you practice well then our next class will be the last class of cat drafting okay